Hey y'all, right now we are looking at the dorsal root ganglion. What that means is a ganglion is a collection of cell bodies outside of the central nervous system. So you can see cell bodies of neurons where I'm pointing, we're at 40x right now. This is outside the central nervous system. So um, it's the dorsal root ganglion. These are sensory neurons. And sensory neurons, their shape is pseudo-unipolar. That means their cell body's off to the side, while axons are running in a different way. But they're still connected, of course, because axons have to be connected to the cell body, but they're kind of separate from each other. So let's go a little closer. Here's 100x. We'll stay here for now. You can see the large cell bodies of, of those pseudo-unipolar neurons. Where are their axons? It's where we start to see these more fibrous looking linear axons. I'm going to 400X now. These are the axons. So axons off to the side, cell bodies clustered in a different area. Cell bodies, axons. Back to the cell bodies, you can see a bunch of cells that are circling it. See these smaller, smaller nuclei that are circling the neuronal cell bodies, those are called satellite cells. Satellite cells are to uh, peripheral neurons as astrocytes are to central nervous system neurons. Uh, these satellite cells, they're there just to support the neurons. They're there to clean things up, support, provide nutrients, things like that. But these cell bodies that you see along the axons, those are Schwann cells. Schwann cells are providing the myelination for these axons, and so they're gonna be along the axons. That's why you see them following these, these directions. So once again, these are the axons with Schwann cells to provide the myelin, and then these are the neurons, whoop, these are the neurons encircled by satellite cells. They're orbiting around like satellites, providing nutrients, getting rid of waste, things like that. These axons in the periphery Right now we have axons in a longitudinal section, but they look very different in cross section. This sounds a lot like what we saw with muscle fibers. So let's look at uh, nerves, peripheral nerves, collections of axons in cross section. Here we are at 100X and we've got a bunch of nerves, like one, two, three, four, five, five nerves in cross section. Let's zoom into this one on where I'm pointing at. 400X. Each one of these dots, like this one there, that is an axon. And the white space surrounding that dot is the myelin. So this is cross section. We already saw this in longitudinal section. What's surrounding that, this small line here, encircling the white, sp white space, that is called endoneurium. Endoneurium is the connective tissue that surrounds every single axon in the periphery. Just like endomesium covers up every single muscle fiber, endoneurium covers up individual axons. These axons are bundled together into fascicles. That also sounds familiar. They're bundled into fascicles, and we can see, like, here's the border of one fascicle. You see this line here? Then here's the border. Here's its other border right here. And then you've got more all around, which, honestly, on this one are not as visible, but you'll have to trust me, they're there. They're kind of visible here. So here's the border. And you can see this line going up from here. So all of this is one fascicle. The connective tissue that surrounds a fascicle, hopefully you can guess this, it's just like with muscles, except it's for the nervous system. What, co what covers up fascicles of, neuron of axons is perineurium. So we have endoneurium surrounding axons, perineurium surrounding fascicles of axons, and then surrounding the whole thing, that's epineurium. Epineurium is surrounding all the entire nerve. So endo, peri, and epineurium. It's what surrounds and protects peripheral axons, peripheral nerves.